and stop. <laughs> right to us. <laughs> What's up guys, Tony here with iTech Check, and today I'm so excited to bring you this Tesla software version 10. We've been waiting this for quite some time. I'm going to go ahead and let you know that this will need a update for your app, whether you have iOS or Android, to do the smart summoning. Yes, that's what I said, smart summoning. So uh, let's go ahead and dive into version 10. It's got a whole bunch of cool stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check it out now. So as you can see here, the version 10 also in, introduces our newest autopilot feature, Smart Summon, along with other autopilot and infotainment improvements. Super cool. So first thing, Cuphead, Tesla edition. So you can play Cuphead in your Tesla. Um, and if you don't know what that is, Google it. It's an awesome game. Me and my friend have beat it. Very cool. Uh, it's local co-op, so you can play with two players. So uh, let's go ahead and check that out first. Okay, so as you can see here, I have two 8-bit dough uh, Nintendo USB uh, Bluetooth adapters, and I'm going to try to see if these will work in the Tesla so I can use my uh, PS4 controllers, and I have these connected to those Bluetooth adapters. So we're going to see if these will go ahead and work. So here we go. My PS4 controller just hooked up to the USB. So we're going to go ahead and see if this works. We're going to play the game. Oh my God, it's working, guys. The 8-bit do Nintendo controller with the PS4 is working. As you can see, it's selecting start and option. So here we go. Let's start it up. New game. Player select. Oh my God, guys, it is working. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. So you can see it does work with the PS4 with the 8-bit dough adapters, USB adapters, so they, they are wireless. Very cool. Here we go. Let's get up here. How did I do that? There we go. Dash down. So cool, guys. All right. So that is working. Okay, guys. So that was Cuphead Smart Summon Beta. This is so cool. Okay. Smart Summon is designed to allow your car to drive to you using your phone's GPS as a target destination or a location of your choosing. Maneuvering around and stopping for objects as necessary. Like Summon, Smart Summon is only intended for use in private parking lots and driveways. You are still responsible for your car and must monitor it and its surroundings at all times within your line of sight because it may detect all obstacles. Be especially careful around quick moving people, bicycles, and cars. To access this feature, go into your Tesla mobile app, tap Summon, then tap the Smart Summon icon. So I'm going to go ahead and do some a couple tests and let you see how well uh, this is working. Okay, guys, so here is our first test, version 10 uh, Smart Summon. And as you can see here, it has a little Smart Summon on the middle of your phone. So what you do is you tap that. And then you put the little crosshairs where you want the car to go. So the car is all the way over there. And we're going to try to make the car come over to us where we are currently at right here. Okay. And as you can see, it draws a line to kind of make uh, the, the best route to you. And then when you're ready, you press and hold go to target. If you release that, the car will stop. So if you see it. You know doing something it's not supposed to you just release it and it will stop so here we go first test as you can see the car is right there behind it's behind the bush in a parking spot so let's go ahead and summon it
It's moving a little slow just to be cautious. It perfectly backed up and went around the curb, so that's good. And stop. <laughs> right to us. <laughs> that is awesome. Now another thing, like I thought, hey, let me see if I can summon all the way to my house. Well, as long as it's within this blue circle here, you can summon. So that keeps you from, you know, summoning it, summoning all the way from your home, you know, being like down the street or something. So that's pretty cool. Successful test. So Another little thing that's uh, kind of hard is when you're in an underdeveloped area, the satellite image is going to be like this. It shows a dirt road, whereas you can see there's a school in front of me. So I kind of have to kind of judge where I want the car to pick me up. And that's, that's a little tough for, you know, when you really need your car to come. But that's just, uh, you know, something that you're going to have to get around. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so here we're gonna test uh, the car navigating to the front of the school around this bend here. As you can see, it's got its line made out. So go ahead and start. Okay, backing up a little. Sees the curb, it's making the turn. Couldn't make it, well actually it can, there it goes. Okay, it's going to turn left. As you can see, it navigated from the parking lot around the bend. And it came over here instead of in front of the school because it's dirt and I can't really tell where it's supposed to go. So. That was pretty nice. I mean, if we would have had a better shot of where the front of the school was, it would have picked me up directly in front of the school. So I adjusted it, so we'll see if it picks it up, it backs up and goes into the front of the school. Okay, it's backing up. It's going to pick me up as if it was in front of the school. It saw the curb and everything. We're coming up on the spot where it's supposed to pick me up. And we're really close. As you can see, there's the target and there's the car. So successful test. Very cool. So super cool guys. As you can see, Smart Summon Beta is pretty freaking amazing. So. Let's go ahead and look at the rest here, Tesla Theater. They've also added Netflix, uh, Tesla Tutorials, and Spotify, which is super cool. So let's see, Tesla Theater lets you watch movies and videos when your car is in park. To launch the Tesla Theater, tap the new entertainment icon in the application launcher and select the theater tab. So that is right down here, entertainment. You have your toy box and some other things that they've changed, which is super cool. So let's take a look at that. Entertainment, theater, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Tesla tutorials. That is really awesome, guys. So <laughs> let's go ahead and touch the Netflix. 
Okay, so you pretty much have to sign in to get everything going here, but they give you a 30 day free trial, which is pretty nice. So let's go ahead and get out of that and we'll check some more things here. I thought it was pretty cool as you noticed the, the lights dim down as if you're starting to watch a, a movie. Karaoke. So sing karaoke to your favorite songs and artists in your Tesla. You can select karaoke from the media menu, tap the microphone icon to adjust whether the vocal track plays when you sing along. So that is pretty cool. So let's see here. We'll go to some music. Okay, so as you can see here, it has the karaoke. So you click on that and you can browse through some of the songs that it has. Now, these aren't, these are like the vocals from a, like a, a cover band, but the music sounds like it's coming from this, the song, but the person singing it is somebody else. I don't know if that was, you know, to copyright or, or whatever, but, um, you know, like I said, you can turn the the vocals on and off so you can just hear the instrumental and you can, you know, sing along with it, which is pretty cool. But there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Some Disney songs, party mixes, total 80s, nice. Some duets in case you have a partner in the car you want to sing with. And you got your new tracks here. Okay, some driver visualization. The driving visualization has been improved to display additional types of objects and line uh, lane lines around your car uh, in more environments. Additionally, you can drag and pinch the driving visual visualization to temporarily adjust uh, view angle and zoom. After a short period of inactivity, the visual visualization will return back to the default position. So I can definitely confirm that. I When you go to uh, put your turn signal on so it can turn, it kind of shows you the lane next to you and then shows kind of like a a little outline of the of your car and where it's going to go. Um, automatic lane change. Uh, the automatic lane change visual, visualization has been improved to highlight where in the adjacent lane your car is planning to move to. When automatic lane change is in initiated, the adjacent lane is highlighted blue and the target car destination is outlined in white. So that's pretty cool. Uh, feeling lucky or hungry. <laughs> uh, you go on a surprise adventure to a nearby attraction by tapping navigate uh, lucky to get directions to a local restaurant chosen by Tesla or by, t by tapping navigate hungry. We have also updated the place pop-up including easy access to an associated website if one exists. So let's go ahead and go to the navigation. Okay so here we are navigate uh, home work hungry or lucky so we'll say we're hungry and it picked a japanese restaurant for us so that's pretty cool and it just kind of navigates you there map improvements we have improved maps to make it easier to find and navigate to where you want to go uh, when searching for a destination the autocomplete search now includes the distance to each suggested place additionally you can now direct tap the labels on the map to quickly view the associated place details and navigate to that destination. That's pretty cool. Map improvements are always welcome. Uh, we also have a mobile app. Um, you can now do even more with your car from your mobile app. Open and close your garage door. A home link button now appears if your car has programmed home link connection. Super cool. Uh, thaw your car in cold weather more conveniently by enabling max defrost. Once enabled, the cabin temperature and front window defrost will be set to the maximum heat. That's nice, especially because I live in Colorado. View the download and installation progress of software updates. That's cool too. Send videos. Send videos to play in the Tesla theater for supported theater sources by sharing the video link uh, with the Tesla mobile app. Vent and close all of your windows. Now that's pretty nice in case it gets your window uh, to let it air out instead of you know using the air conditioning to cool down and kind of waste a little bit of battery. Okay, again, these features require the latest version of the Tesla mobile app, 3.10.0 or later. Dash cam improvements. Dash cam to now record and store video footage, footage captured by your car's rear facing camera, in addition to the forward camera and side cameras. Cool, so total 360 degree views. As usual, the dash cam icon will be displayed in the status bar with a red dot indicating that is recording tap the icon to save 10 minutes 
of video clips and press and hold to pause the recording. That's nice. I'm glad they, they added the rear camera because, I mean, you know, people rear end you and you won't know who it is. So that's cool. Sentry mode improvements. Sentry mode video clips are now saved in a separate folder on USB drive to make them easier to review and manage. Also, the oldest sentry mode video clips will now automatically delete if there's not enough space on the USB drive and sentry mode clips are using more than five gigs of space. Awesome. So now we won't really have to worry about necessarily wiping out our USB drive consistently as we had to before. Okay, Joe mode. Enabling Joe mode reduces the volume of your car's chimes the quieter chimes continue to alert the driver effectively and minimize disruption to passengers. Uh, to enable Joe mode, tap control, safety and security, and Joe mode. This is a called Joe mode in reference to Joe Rogan. <laughs> okay, software update improvements. The software update experience now has more style and grace. You will now know which software update version is being downloaded and to be installed. Once the software update has been initiated, you can view the install progress when the touchscreen is on. That's nice. Bluetooth media improvements. Playing media from a connected phone via Bluetooth has been improved to display album art from your device. You can now browse associated playlists directly from the touchscreen. Additionally, Bluetooth media supports 48 kilohertz sampling rate for better audio quality. And that's nice too. Behavior and performance will vary depending on the mobile device and app. Okay. Application launcher. The application launcher has been rearranged to make it easier to launch the phone app. We've also replaced the Tesla Arcade with the Tesla Entertainment. So if we look here, as you can see here, all the changes they've made here, the entertainment, toy box. Okay. And now... Finally, driver profile. In addition to your seat, mirror, and steering wheel positions, your car automatically saves many settings to your driver profile with this release. You can now see when a setting is saved to the selected driver profile in the status bar located at the top of your touchscreen. Nice. So if I were to adjust the steering wheel, uh, it would show up at the top of the screen and show saved. So that is it, guys. That, that was a ton of stuff very cool the coolest thing i think is by far the smart summon and i'm sure everybody's going to agree too uh from what you saw in the videos it's it can i mean it's almost there it's almost to full self-driving you can navigate around the curbs uh, and objects that are in its way i can't wait guys i'm so excited what about you what are you guys looking forward the most i know for me um it's full self-driving. I'm sure you guys are going to say it the same, but <laughs> so that is pretty much it. Tesla Model 3 software version 10. Also real quick, in case you guys are interested, I am doing an iPhone 11 giveaway. I will put that link in the description. It is a link to my video that I am doing the giveaway for. Just go ahead and go to that, follow the instructions, and you'll be entered in to win an iPhone 11. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. And like I said before, I will be putting out more uh, new Tesla update videos. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification to let you guys know when that, those drop. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.